Good morning. My name is Haro Okawa. And now, what do you think are the tools being used to, uh, to build peace? There are many different examples, such as monetary assistance. <clears throat> monetary assistance, technical assistance, and human resource development. But let's turn to something different. For example, building peace through sports. Is it possible for sports to bring peace to a country? I believe that the sport called ultimate can bring peace to a country. That is because the nature of the sports of not having a referee and strict adherence to non-violence are actually having dynamic effects on a country. In a country a called Democratic Republic of the Congo. And now I want to introduce the ultimate. Yes, it's work. So now I introduce Ultimate. Ultimate is using frisbees, and we pass a frisbee, and we aim to the goal. It is like American footballs, but we use frisbee. And now I'm trying to spread this sport throughout Congo. So today's topic is this one: the ultimate way to develop Africa. And today, I'd like to share with you how I came to be involved in this activity and make a proposal for a new way to build peace to a country. I'm a senior in college. I'm now one year leave of absence. And looking back at, my, at the summer of my sophomore year, when I didn't know what I wanted to do, and I had no goals. But only one thing that was clear in my mind was that I wanted to be somebody, not someone who is mechanically processed by one's ID number, but to live life as Haruokawa. That seemed the coolest path for me. And then, I met an upperclassman, and someday, and he said, I'm going to turn down job offer and go to Congo for one year. That sounded crazy. But in the same time, I felt that it is cool. When I was a child, I dreamed about the great adventure especially unknown continent, Africa. And so, in that moment, just in that moment, I decided to go to Congo for one year like an upperclassman. But even though I decided on that, I, have to, I will do something in Congo. But in reality, there wasn't much I could do. I wasn't good at anything. But then, it dawned on me. I had been playing Ultimate for three years in my college. At first, I wasn't crazy this sport. But I noticed this sport is playing with Frisbee. So I could throw Frisbee more attractivity. So I made a decision. I will do something with this recipe and ultimate. Very simple. And in that moment, ultimate 
didn't exist in Congo. So that is only one thing that I could do. And an idea crossed my mind. I'm going to make a club team of Congo and promote ultimate throughout Congo. And this year's February, I went to Congo. By the way, the Democratic Republic of the Congo is in central of Africa. And is more than six times larger than Japan. There was a great, great prosperity in the past, but now it is riddled with civil unrest. It is riddled with civil strife over mineral resources, especially in the eastern part of Congo. So it is often called that the poorest nation in the world. And frankly, the cities are in a state of near chaos. Conflicts can, near, conflicts can easily flare up. I went to this country. And the third day of staying in my life in Congo, I had very big news. A reception I went, I heard that the third highest official of Ministry of Youth and Sports was there. So I thought this is a very big chance. So I made a decision. I'm going to promote ultimate just now. And the result, it worked. <laughs> Very simple. The Mr. Official really fell for this sport, and he told me that his government would like to introduce this sport throughout Congo. Very simple. And <clears throat> things went quickly from that point. Following the day, a three days training session was held in Kinshasa, the capital. It is for 300 PE teachers. And 300 frisbees were donated from Japan. Thank you very much. And at the same time, I started teaching ultimate in the land of Kinshasa. I visited many towns and taught ultimate, and usually and often, 1,000 people came and practiced ultimate with me. And in August this year, here is what I accomplished. Ultimate, it became unofficial sports of Democratic Republic of the Congo. I made it. <laughs> I made it. <laughs> it means that this sport became one of the national sports of Congo. I started from nothing, but in this moment, it became one. And subsequently, I organized a very big tournament in Kinshasa. Uh, 700 PE teachers and, I uh, know, 700 children and their parents came and bring ultimate. So now, I want to, I would like to watch you this video. The many children were playing ultimate, and so-called street children were playing, were big street playing ultimate. In the future, I want to organize a national team with them. But most important thing is that 
I wasn't spread this sport merely as a sport. I'd like to use this sport as a tool with building peace. I want to make peace with Frisbee in Congo. Ultimate have two features. The first one is no referee. The player self-officiate. It means that we have to keep rules correctly and care for others. The second one is no violence. During the game, it is prohibited any violence. So that's why this sport is said to be a said to be the said to be the pinnacle of the spirit of, spirit of the game, and I believe that this sport will thrive in Congo. And if I add one more thing, money is of course important, but money is not everything. It is a mistake to understand that. People will be happy if you gave them money. The people of Congo enjoy their life more freely than those of us in Japan. They know it is not worth living if you are not happy. So I dare say this today. Congo is not the first country in the world. At least, that is not applicable to Congo. Being poor, not having peace, this war shouldn't be decided on the images spread by the media. But to largely dependent on the sense of self richness of mind. I say again, the richness of mind is the most important to build peace. So that's why now sport is needed. That's why ultimate is needed. Now it is more changing, but in the future, it will be large change to happen, I think. And I plan to spread this sport throughout Congo to the next year, especially six provinces in Congo. And I organize, I will organize a national team of ultimate in Congo in next year's spring. And in the, in the end of next year, we will organize a national tournament. Building peace by sport. Building peace by ultimate. A moving experience will cause people to take action. And if people will take action, the country will take action. If country will take action, the entire, the entire world will take action. So I strongly believe that this is a new way to build peace to the entire world. That's why I call it the ultimate way to develop world. Thank you.